wow. Uh, I'm a little stunned. There was an auto trader ad that made no sense. Yeah. Uh, May 10th, 2016. I don't know. Jim Beam. I don't know if I drank this. That's the chick from uh, ooh, one of Ashton Kutcher's Baby Mama. I forget her name. I don't really care. So Johnny Mizell, I'm going to call his realtor because his house is up for the market in um, Cleveland, $489,000. Kind of like, no. Wow. Uh, I was at the doctor's office today. They were playing stuff, uh, which I haven't seen in a while. The uh, people's court. The guy was a pastor. Now, I don't know if a pastor, you have to go to school for that or not, because since I'm Jewish, I'm sorry I'm not up on all the religious, uh, I don't know, all the religious uh is it virtue, uh, rules, rules of religion? I know a rabbi has to go to school. I know a priest has to go to seminary, seminary school. I don't know sure about a pastor. So this girl put an ad in, uh, woman put an ad in Facebook, and the guy, uh, a creepy, he uh, professes love for her on Facebook. They were living together, and he said he, uh, rent wasn't paid, and he said he gave a cashier's check that was never there. That uh, he, he, he has a receipt for but she never, not a receipt that she received it. And also he forgot the receipt when he shows up at People's Court, which is always going to go well. He is no longer, was no longer pastor at the church, which he, which they vouched for him because theological differences. He also had a shaved head and earrings and looked kind of creepy. So that was that. And they had some other show about church fashion. And one of the women, all the women were, uh, were healthy looking women, but uh, the outfits were not very flattering. And it was just, and then a soap opera. I saw people in the show that, I guess uh, these guys were working. One of the women has been on that forever, and uh, I thought it was her son. Well, yeah, and uh, it wasn't. I think it was her love interest, but oof. I was like, ooh, they have not aged well. Oh, man, Craig Sager does not look good. He's still doing it, man. God bless him. He loves this stuff. Yeah, and uh, so Johnny Benzel's place, I might look into that. You know, the whole... Uh, election stuff just seems like it goes on forever and I feel like you're going to burn out so I'm not paying attention now they're tied they, the, Hillary is the, has the female edge uh, Trump has the male edge so basically they're tied and now Christie is supposed to talking about might be his, the running mate for Trump I don't know and I'm still curious who Hillary's going to pick there's a lot of empty seats at the Spurs game those are good seats too there's a lot of empty seats lower very interesting yeah, there's a lot of good empty seats. Actually, there's a lot of empty seats everywhere. Yeah, the whole bottom row, that's a lot of empty seats. Are these fans just tired of it? That That's a lot of empty seats. See that? That's a lot of empty seats. And then the other end of the floor, there's a lot of, see? I mean, a lot of empty seats. I feel like I'm watching a New York, New York Yankees game. I need to go to bed. I'm really tired. It's been a long freaking day. And uh, I hope everybody has a great night. And, uh, yeah, it's not, not one of my better critical masses. I was looking through the paper. Uh, Yankees are winning, I think, so they might be in a win streak. Mets playing tonight. And that game, how about Curry last night, man? And the first unanimous MVP, first ever unanimous MVP in the NBA. And what's the deal with Bryce Harper given that, you know, you get pissed off, you kick that, but then they win the game and he's like, fuck you. At pointing at him at the end, he's not. You don't think he's going to get suspended? He's going to get suspended. Who does shit like that? This is MVP of the league, man. I don't get it. You know, I I don't get. You know, really? Are they, are they that bad? I mean, f really? And then with cameras around, he didn't think it was going to show up on camera. It's like, hey, right there, that's you, right? That's you going fuck you right there. Okay, so but you got to make an example, man. This guy's the MVP. Should be, he's above that, right? Should he be above that? Yeah. Great players, you th you know, I'm thinking Tony Gwynn, no. You think uh, Derek Jeter was saying fuck you to the camera when they won a game? You think Mike Trout's going to say fuck you to the camera when they lose a game? Now, David Ortiz, hell yeah, he'll do it. But I never liked David Ortiz. But, gee, really? Ridiculous. Just a lot of, man, NBA, a lot of tats. Yeah, cornrows just look like they hurt. It looks so tight that it looks like it hurts. It's not me. Yeah, Durant's Kevin. Kevin Durant is definitely going to be bald. Is, that hair is not growing in up top. He's just tall and skinny. All right, I got to go.